Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ali Velo 9 here and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a Siri on any iOS device, any iOS device that's 5.0 and up. So this is going to work on the iPad 1, iPad 2, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th generation, and I believe the iPhone 3GS, but I'm not sure if you can update that to 5.0. So things you're going to need is a jailbroken device and um has to be on 5.0 or higher. So for this demonstration I'm going to be using the iPad first generation and this is this is on 5.1.1 if you guys can't see that it's on 5.1.1 all right so let me press home all right so the first thing you're going to have to do is open up Cydia All right, and you're gonna have to add a source. So, open up Cydia, and you're gonna have to t do two reboots um, in this process. So, if you are tethered, um, you're gonna have to um, reboot tethered. So, yeah, but you shouldn't be because I don't think I think all iOS five and up um, jailbreaks are untethered. So, you should be good. All right, so now you're gonna add the source. Let me go back here. Are right, you gonna add this source here? It's gonna be in the description. You're gonna add this here. It's called sorry for that. Siri port and the source is called is a uh, repo. Siri port. Ru slash. All right. So it's gonna be in the description down below. So don't worry about that. Just add this source here and then click on it. And depending on what your device you have. Um, this being the iPad, if you have an iPhone or a um, iPod Touch 4th generation or so, you will click Siri Port Original. Okay? This is for iPhone and iPod Touch or whatever. Okay? Siri Port Original. But if you have an iPad, you're going to click Siri Port iPad Original. And then you're just going to install it up top. And it is a uh, pretty big file, so it's like 100 megabytes. So it might it might take a little time to um, download and install and such. All right. So after that, after you um, done, after you're done, after you uh, install it and such, it's gonna respring. But what you're gonna want to do is uh, basically reboot your device manually. So you're gonna slide to power off and reboot. All right. So I'm not I'm not gonna do it because I already have it on here and I for the time time um to not waste any time I'm not gonna do it, alright? So basically once you install it, reboot your device. All the directions are gonna be in the down below, so don't worry about it. So download, re reboot, alright, and then you're gonna go into um Safari here and you're gonna this will also be in the description. You're you're gonna go to this site here. It's called siriport.ru slash siriport underscore ru underscore original dot pm. Sorry. And so you're basically going to go to this site. And once it opens, it's going to take you to a um, install setting here. Once you go to it, it's going to take you to an install here. I already have it installed, so I don't have to do it right now. So uh, for you, it's going to say install. That's what it does say right now. So it, it is trusted. So you're just going to press install, install, and you're just going to install this. So I'm going to cancel. And once you install that, you're going to reboot again. Well, before you do that, once you install that, as you see, you're going to click on general, go to Siri, and this might be Siri might be turned off for you, so you're just gonna have to turn it on, and then from there, you're gonna reboot manually. So you're gonna slide the power off and go back to the reboot process. And now once once you're uh, once you're done rebooting and it comes back on, you're basically done. You um, Siri is on. You could go back and check if Siri is on. Go under Siri. If it's on, then you're good. Um, you get you could put this in if you want the voice feedback and I mean my info and all that stuff but you don't have to all right so after that you're just gonna hold down home button all 
Hi. Boss. <laughs> it might be a little light, laggy, but... Alright, but for you guys, the first couple of times, it's not going to work. Uh, for me, it took me about a good 15 minutes um, for it to actually work. But after it reply, Siri replies to you, after that, it will work all the time. Um, what, what it might do for you guys for, for a couple of times, um, for about first 5 to 10 minutes, it might say, uh, if you say, you're going to have to say hi to Siri, and then it's going to say, um, I can't answer this, or something like that. So, it's going to take you about five to ten minutes for it to work and then it should work so let's try it let's do another example what time is it the time is 4 26 p.m. all right so say oh hello <laughs> so what some things that it doesn't do is um it doesn't open apps, basically. I think that's the only thing I saw that it doesn't do. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I think I think that's the only thing that it really doesn't do. So guys, that's um. Let's see one more thing. Um, what's the weather like tomorrow? It should be nice tomorrow, up to eighty-two degrees and sunny. Yeah. All right. So that's it, guys. That's how to get Siri on any iOS device, 5.0 and up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Go ahead and check out my channel. Check out my other videos. Follow me on Twitter. I just made a new Twitter. Um, so if you guys would like, go follow me on there. And yeah, if you're feeling awesome, subscribe. Uh, comment below. Any questions, you can comment below or inbox me. Um, any new videos of, that you guys want me to do, go ahead and inbox me. And let's see if Siri does one more thing. wonder if it does this. Say goodbye. Okay, boss. Here you go. <laughs> All right. So, that's been it, guys. That's been Siri, how to get Siri on the any iOS device 5.0 and up. Um, hope you guys liked it. Uh, check out my other videos, like I said before. And that's it. Peace.